Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. I shouldn't be talking with my mouth while I'm eating a bag of, uh, not a whole bag, but I mean walnut pieces. Probably high fat, but there are worse calories to eat than walnuts, right? So, hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am stuck in traffic for the most part, although it looks like an opening up ahead of me. I'm heading back to Goodwill to return that Bose stereo system. The radio works, but the CD players don't work, so I'm going to return it. So, I'm getting my $40 back. I'll look around and see if there's anything else in there to buy, but I don't really feel like I'm going to find anything today. I watched one of my recurrent modules today, hung around the house waiting for FedEx to deliver something. It's like an all-day affair waiting for FedEx. It's like waiting for Godot. Um, they finally showed up like two hours after they were supposed to with a package. It's an order I got from an online auction. There were three pieces of this Mexican pottery sculpture thing that I was going to resell but two of the pieces arrived broken in pieces. So I'll have to contact um, Goodwill online. It's, it's through a Goodwill auction on their website. The third piece, I, didn't really, I don't really think I'm gonna get much money for it, so I'm a little disappointed with that, but whatever, whatever. There are worse things that'll happen to me. Um, uh, let's see, that's, that's the day so far, just hanging around the house waiting for FedEx, getting my online recurrent stuff done and now returning that uh, stereo system. So a very exciting day. We'll see if anything else happens. If it does, I'll share it with you. Otherwise, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. All right, see you soon. And the day got away from me completely. It is 5.47 in the afternoon. I went into Goodwill here to return that stereo for $40 and um, I got a store credit. I was expecting my money back, but I shop at Goodwill all the time, so no big surprise. So I decided let's just spend it all now rather than worry about credit later. I found some pretty great things. I'm pretty happy with myself right now. Hold on, I'll show you what I got. All right, it's hard to see how cute these shorts are, but they've got a five inch inseam. So they're short shorts without being silly. They are Banana Republic. Look at the size on that. Do you see the size? 34 and they fit me. I almost cried when I put those on. So very, very happy with that. This is a sweater vest. I'm going to single-handedly bring sweater vests back in style. Uh, this is a polo Ralph Lauren um, long sleeve t-shirt with a little hoodie thing on it super cute uh, and uh, I might wear it I might resell it because I think I can probably get 40 40 dollars or more for it but I really thought it was cute with it with these shorts <gasps> with these shorts like in San Francisco or something I think that would be super cute so and I got a, a denim a really good quality denim shirt I can always I can never have enough denim shirts and I picked up a pair of Nike uh, Nike Torch 3. I'm not quite sure what that is, but they are practically new. I don't see they've ever really been worn beyond, I don't know, it's a little bit of dust, but they are practically brand new and they're real. They're, they're genuine. They're not fake Nike. These were $20, so I'm pretty happy with that. They're better than the sneakers I have to go to the gym with, so... I got a new pair of Nike sneakers, great little denim shirt, super cute shirt, shorts that made me want to cry, and a little sweater vest, and I ended up spending $5 more rah, than my original 39 So I'm pretty happy with my choices there. Um, lately, I've been buying a lot of clothes for myself at Goodwill. My wardrobe is expansive once again. It's been a long time. Not since my Neiman Marcus days did I have such a nice wardrobe. But uh, it's 5.50. I should probably eat something. I had some cereal this morning. Yeah, I should probably eat something. <laughs> So, 
When I turned my car on, whatever music was playing on my phone, at any point during the course of my day, it starts to play in my car. This just scared the hell out of me. I, I, I tried meditating today. I spent a few minutes trying to meditate. And I've got this these recordings of the Gayuto Monks Tantric Choir. I think they're out of Tibet. And uh, I was playing this this chanting low as I was trying to meditate earlier today. And uh, so when I got in the car, it uh, started blaring because I had my music up. So that just scared the hell out of me. Um, yeah, fun. Haha, <laughs> I'm awake now. I decided to hit Panda Express since I've not had it in a long time. But instead of all the rice and chow mein, I got the uh, broccoli and cabbage. I got the string bean chicken, because I figure it's a lot of string beans, and it eh, can't be that bad for me. Some Coke Zero instead of the giant uh, combination of Sprite and lemonade I used to get in the giant cup. So this is a few fewer calories, and that is my dinner. I'm very excited. This is getting crazy. Um, hey, hey guys, how are you? Good morning. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning on March 7th. It's the next day since I saw you last. Uh, the folks at One Hour Air Conditioning are here uh, doing a maintenance check on the system up on top of the roof there. Um, it's uh, something that's required to keep the system under warranty, so that's great. Thank goodness I am off pretty much all month, so I could just schedule them to come whenever they could get here, so that's handy. Uh, so they're on the roof. You can see their ladder right there. Um, and the, uh, so in conjunction with them crawling around on the roof, the, uh, landscapers are blowing their air, they're blowing whatever it is, things around. So the cats are, the cats have teleported somewhere. I can't find them. They're very anxious around unusual noises. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the system's being looked at, so that's good. That's good. Um, I am probably should eat something for breakfast. And then I have no idea what to do. Oh, I've got one more module to look at, one more security module to look at for recurrence. So maybe we should knock that out this morning while they're doing their thing. Eleanor has new paper. She's loving it. Jump in, Eleanor. <laughs> Get yeah, you. I'm studying up on the, the psychology of terrorists. This is a fun way to spend the morning. Eleanor is keeping me company, though. <laughs> I should have kept that paper for wrapping eBay sales, but Eleanor loves her paper. Right, Eleanor? Well, I'm out. So, hey guys, how are ya? It is uh, 2.36 in the afternoon. It's been a very nice day so far. And boy, oh boy, that caffeine has definitely kicked in. I feel like I'm... Whoop. Um, I remember back in, back in the day, a long, 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 long time ago, the first time I tried cocaine. <laughs> the first time I tried cocaine, or was it ecstasy? It was one of the, maybe it was both the same night. I don't know. You know, got to keep up and down. Uh, I remember being on the dance floor at this bar called the Ramrod. And I was dancing, 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 thinking, oh my God, drugs are so much fun. I feel so great because I thought they had kicked in. And then they kicked in. And whoa, ugh, it was not fun. I did not enjoy drugs. Caffeine and alcohol. Those are my go-tos. Well, no longer, but. How's that for a memory? Boy, this caffeine has definitely kicked in. <laughs> the things I tell you. Um, so it's, why am I still trying to drink this? Um, so today has been very nice. I woke up relatively early in preparation for an appointment with the one hour air conditioning folks. The appointment was supposed to be from uh, either from 8.30 this morning till 12.30 in the afternoon when they were supposed to show up. They got there at like 9.15 or so, and uh, boy, they were so nice. These two young gentlemen in very crisp, clean uniforms. 
Uh, they were so polite, so professional, and they got the work done real quick um, and uh, just really, really impressed with them. Uh, what else is going on? Oh, once they left, I figured I'll give the cat some treats for being so good when they finally came out from hiding. And then I sat down and finished the remaining online module in preparation for recurrent that I have on the 13th of March. And uh, so I finished that. So I'm very, very happy. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of online work. And I think we get paid eight hours credit for the online work. It's, it's a lot of time. But uh, I got that finished. Uh, and I took some of the online uh, practice quizzes a few times just to kind of get myself in the mindset of answering those sort of test questions again. Excuse me, that coffee is right here. Um, then I sat down with the cats. We kind of took a little nap. We laid down for a little while. Very nice. And I was very content. And then I'm thinking, I went through so much effort yesterday to try and find a pair of good gym shorts. I'm still reacting to the fact that I told you about my first time doing drugs at the ramp. <laughs> it's not the last time I did them either. Oh my God. Oh, I just remembered my one experience with Kay. Oh, that was horrific. Oh my God, Marcus. It's a story. It's a story. Um, but uh, so I, I remembered I went through so much effort yesterday trying to find a pair of gym shorts that I decided let's go to the gym. So I threw on a gym shirt that I bought probably a year or two ago uh, and my new shorts and a pair of uh, blue Nike. I'm sorry. These are uh, Reebok sneakers to match the shirt, of course, because you got to be cute at the gym. And I feel more prepared when I walk in in matching uh, clothes. But I haven't been to the gym since the pandemic, and I didn't go that often because no one wore masks in the gym, so I stopped going. And I don't think I had been to the gym a, a year, year and a half before the pandemic. So I've been paying for gym membership the entire time at Planet Fitness. It's not a lot of money, but I've been paying it every month. Uh, so here I am. I'm going to take advantage of my membership. Uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? Um, oh, memories of Planet Fitness. So I just shared with you two wildly inappropriate memories of going <laughs> using drugs. My memories of Planet Fitness in Tampa. Um, as you might remember, I had been living in my car for a little while in Tampa, not sexy, uh, and I would um, frequently sleep in a Planet Fitness parking lot because um, unlike Walmart and other stores and stuff, there was no security staff knocking on your window uh, in the middle of the night, so I could sleep relatively undisturbed at Planet Fitness, and in the morning I could go into their gym, work out, shower, shave, get ready for work, shave down here and up here, uh, get ready for work and then go to work and I would, would come back to Planet Fitness to sleep at night, sometimes going to the gym for the second time in that day. So I was in fantastic shape. Maybe I'll include a photograph. I'm going to include a photograph of what I used to look like when I was sleeping in a Planet Fitness parking lot. I wish you could see the body on the guy who's walking on my left. Can you see, wait, whoa, do you see those arms? <gasps> um, so I'm gonna include a photograph of what I used to look like when I was sleeping at a Planet Fitness parking lot. You're gonna be impressed. Look at these arms now, look at my arms, and then look at this photo. Yep, I looked like that when I was homeless. <laughs> So if I can look like that then, imagine what I could do now with a little discipline, you know? So I'm going to go into the gym, try and get this these body into some shape. When I worked my last trip, my last flight, I did my uh, safety demonstration. I wear a short sleeve shirt, and I remember I was, you know, go, using my fingers, the flight attendant fingers, you know, guiding people down the aisle, the lights above, the exits, and my arm this. Look at this. Look. <gasps> Look. Oh my God. <sighs> that happened. I mean, they're fluttering when I did my demo. So I, I, I need to go back to the gym and get this taken care of. Uh, I would like to lose a little bit more weight. My goal is to get down to where a 34 
Um, I did buy a pair of 34 shorts from Banana Republic, but they have a little stretch to them, so it's not really a 34. And I bought a pair of size 34 Lucky uh, denim jeans. Uh, 999 Lucky jeans. They're they're fantastic, and they're a size 34. And I was able to put them on. I was able to close them. They were a little snug, but they they were size 34. I mean, I almost cried. But um, I would like them to fit a little bit more comfortably, so I want to lose a little bit more weight. But what I really, really want to happen is to develop my uh, upper body, especially a little bit. I don't need to be where I was before, but I would like to feel strong again. So that's my goal. Um, so almost two minutes of me talking like this. Let me get into the gym and stop, uh, stop yammering. I will see you soon. So I hate stretching. So instead, I'm on the treadmill, just walking. I don't run. You have to have a gun held to my head before I start running. Um, but so I'm walking on the treadmill and I'm thinking, oh, I'll say hi to my, my subscribers. And I see myself on camera and I'm like, look. So I used to have like a little bit more of like a man boob situation, but now I'm left with this like squishiness. Definitely a goal, and to get my arms back in shape. Mm. Wow, look, gross. All right, I feel good. I feel a little dizzy, honestly. I should have eaten something other than just an iced coffee. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I feel good. I feel a little more firm than I did when I was walking on the treadmill. Um, I, I need air in my tires is what I need. Um, so yeah, I feel a little bit more firm after having worked out, a little pumped, uh, proving that there is some muscle mass left on my body somewhere. Uh, so I feel good. I feel motivated to come back maybe tomorrow. That'd be kind of cool two days in a row. Um, I'm anticipating feel, feeling a little sore because, um, I worked out, I did my, biceps a little bit, triceps, shoulders, and chest. And I walked on the treadmill for a while. Probably too much to throw at myself after having not been to the gym for a long time, but we'll see. Um, I, I'm i hungry now. I'm gonna eat, well, drink one of these premier protein things. 30 grams of carbs, uh, protein, I should say, one gram of sugar, 25 vitamins, and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I'm going to drink this and probably eat something, a little bit something solid, just because, I don't know, I'm afraid of eating, honestly. But it doesn't make any sense. All right, I will see you later. Hey there. So I'm not sure why I do this to myself all the time. I think, let's go to the grocery store during rush hour. I, I don't know why I always do this to myself, but I'm kind of stuck in what passes for traffic here in Las Vegas. I'm listening to NPR, and uh, there is some very good news out of Alabama. How often can I possibly ever say that in my life? Um, so the uh, recently, the Alabama uh, Supreme Court deemed... Uh, ruled that frozen embryos have the constitutional rights of children. Whether you believe that or not, you can have your own YouTube channel and 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 voice your opinion there. Uh, but uh, <laughs> um, so a huge outrage uh, from all those people trying to have children um, in Alabama. But uh, that those services kind of stopped until there was some clarification. Uh, but the, the um, governor just signed into into law, I guess, last night that um, caregivers, uh, medical professionals, and the families that are uh, trying to get pregnant uh, won't be, you know, uh, uh, guilty of murder uh, for trying to have uh, children using the I IVF process, which um, I guess there are frozen embryos that don't make it, that aren't viable, that aren't implanted. I don't know. I'm, I'm never going to have to go through that. But I'm pleased, at least, that um, women won't be criminalized, again, for having some control over the reproductive system of their own bodies. But blah, blah, blah. Again, whether or not you believe I'm right or wrong, you can have your own YouTube channel. But 
So I'm listening to that, very deep thoughts. And I'm looking at myself, literally just looking down. It's nice to see that I don't have a belly anymore when I look down, it's it's very nice. But um, I was just kind of thinking about the, my experience at the gym today and kind of beating myself up, honestly. I was being very negative uh, in that um, the weights, I, I did some shoulder lifts, you know, up and down, and I used five pound weights, and then I moved up to 10 pound weights until I couldn't do it anymore. Uh, I was fatigued in the exercise. Doing bicep curls, I used um, 20 pound weights, then moved up to 25 pound weights. And I was, I was just, <sighs> thinking when I worked out last, when I actually had a body last time, um, I was curling 50 pounds, uh, individual weights. I was curling two 50 pound weights. And that's probably not like, you know, wow, but it, it's certainly a hell of a lot more than 20 and 25 pound weights. And I was kind of beating myself up for not being able to lift as much as I used to. And then on the, um, there's a chest press um, machine I was using and I used to do that I don't know like a, you know 125 pounds 130 pounds sometimes more and um, I, I could barely get three sets of 50 pounds and that felt uh, really disappointing honestly and then what else should I do? Oh, the triceps machine. I, I like a triceps with free weights, but there's a machine that I really, that's easy to use, and so I, I use it. Um, but when I used to use that same machine, um, I was, you know, pressing 190 pounds, and uh, I was using it at 60 pounds this time, and after three sets, I couldn't do it anymore. So I was feeling sort of... Um, disappointed in myself for not being able to lift the weights I used to. Um, and now I'm trying to give myself some self-love and say like, I got to the gym today. That is uh, a big achievement for me. Like I actually went to the gym. I didn't need to go to the gym. No one was holding a gun to my head. I wasn't going to die if I didn't go to the gym. So I should just give myself some slack and say like, yay, I went to the gym right? Uh, and I'll try to um, get back to the point where I could lift normal weights. That's, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to be nice to myself. <laughs> it's not really working, but uh, I'm going to stop in Sprouts and grab some food, just, just something small but healthy uh, to eat for dinner tonight. Um, and, uh, yeah, there we go. There's my, my stray thoughts. I don't know anything else that's going to happen today. Uh, so on this happy note, I think I'm going to end this video, um, while I, and then I keep talking, if, which is always what I do. So during this month off, and I can't believe the month is just racing by, it's already the 7th of March. Um, I'm probably going to do like a video every couple of days, just like, it's not like, um, vlogmas or anything, but. Yeah, just share what's going on while I'm while I'm having this taking this time off. So I hope you enjoy this type of video. If you don't, let me know. Uh, if you want me to film uh, on a different topic or something other than just a a question and answer video, blah blah blah. I don't think I'm making much sense because I really am very hungry. Uh, so I'll talk to you later. All right, fly safe. Bye.